She's four. She's absolutely beautiful, but she's downright creepy. She, she scares the shit out of me. She does. Let me ask you a question. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and your kid is just standing next to the bed? Just... What the hell's she doing? Sizing me up for the trunk or something? I rolled over and I was like, ah! Hey, Dad. Yeah, what is it, Chucky doll? Jesus Christ. You want to color? Whatever you say, dude. I'll color. I don't give a shit. As long as I don't end up in a glad trash bag in the basement somewhere. I'm afraid of her. I'll be watching TV, right? She'll come right over, right? And she'll rip the remote control right out of my hands. And I don't say anything about it. I'm afraid to say something, right? Right? Because I, if, I, if I say what I'm really thinking, then fucking Dr. Phil will show up at my house. It's not like it used to be. I got to try to reason and all this. And she flicks it on that, onto that uh, Elmo. On the, I hate that little red bastard. I hate him. It's not his fucking world, by the way. All right? It, la, 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 Elmo's world. It's my world, you little bastard. And I hate that door of the horror, whatever her name is. That's right. I said it. And I hate all the wiggles, too. Guess what? I hate every wiggle there is. Line them up. I'll fight all the wiggles right now. I don't even give a shit if that purple wiggle knows karate. Bring it on, Jeff. Let's do it. But I don't say anything, because then she'll pull a nutty, right? Oh, she'll pull a nutty. That's what my wife says. She's going to pull a nutty if you say something. I'm like, okay, I don't say anything. <laughs> then there'll be like a trial, and we'll have to determine whether or not there's going to be a timeout, and <laughs> bring it before counsel. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you think any one of us would have got away with that shit when we were kids? Yeah, I know. Imagine your dad is sitting there watching 60 Minutes. <laughs> Right, and you walked over to the knob, right? <laughs> Look at these kids are younger. They're going, what the fuck's a knob? <laughs> you guys don't remember the knob, do you? You just have to get up from the couch and walk all the way across and fucking turn a knob. Isn't that weird? Then you go back and sit down. That's how we burned calories back then. We could go biggie and it wouldn't make a difference. We fucking burn it off between the couch and the TV. And then you went over and proclaimed to your dad that we will now be watching Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Imagine the response you'd get from my dad would have been like, oh, really? You're gonna watch Scooby-Doo, huh? I'll tell you what, you can watch Scooby-Doo when you get back from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna watch Scooby-Doo? Why don't you get a job like I do? Bust my ass 85 hours a week, breaking my freaking back. And then you go down to Sears and buy a 27-inch color zenith TV and put it in your bedroom and watch Scooby-Doo until the motherfucking cows come home. My dad, my dad used to count. One of those counting dads. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to count to three. And you better fucking hope I don't get to three. Because if I get to three... <laughs> what was that last part? You're going to turn into a freaking horse or something? If I get to three... <laughs> All the kids in the neighborhood were afraid of my dad. We had a pool, a little above ground pool, one of those little $250 jobs that he thought was the fucking Bellagio or something. And he'd walk around and duct tape handwritten signs to the, of the rules to the pool, right? No horse play, no diving, no running, no alcohol, no Mary J. Wanna, right? And he had another one that just said, no fucking around. That's a bit redundant, Dad. Isn't that the same thing as horse play? And kids would stand on the edge and the teeth, you know how the sides would buckle on those little cheap bastards? Then they'd dive in and my dad would just pull them up and go, look at that! You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna crack your friggin' head open and you're gonna be riding to school in a short bus wearing a helmet. And then you're gonna fucking wonder what happened. That was one of his big sayings. <laughs> gonna fucking wonder what happened then, aren't you? I'm gonna get to three and you're gonna get knocked into next Sunday and then you're gonna fucking wonder what happened. We stayed out of their hair. Now they got these computers and all this shit. Email me. Why don't you email me in the chat room? <laughs> Nobody goes outside and plays anymore. We used to go out and play. Remember that? You'd walk over to the door. Ma! I gotta go outside and play! I don't give a shit. Just get out of the house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Play in traffic. I don't give a shit what you do. My mother would tell us that. Go play in traffic. 
We would take her literally, be out the hook and dodge and... I'm playing in traffic. Like fucking Frogger. We'd go outside and play and we could find anything to do. We'd stare at rocks. That's a pretty rock right there. I might pick that rock up. <laughs> and we would build shit. We'd build a, a fort up in the trees, right? Using boards we ripped off our own house. <laughs> My dad would come on, where'd you get the fucking boards? I'm gonna count to three and then you're gonna fucking wonder where you got those boards. He'd walk around the back of the house come springtime. Holy shit, I thought it was cold in here. <laughs> we would play guns out there. We'd go out and play guns. We didn't have the toy guns, right? Right? We didn't have any money for that shit. We used to use a what? Anyone? A stick. That's right. Big ass stick. Come on, bud. Right there. Big ass birch tree. Strap it on your shoulder like a bazooka and hunt for your best friend. Remember when you saw your friend, right? It was whoever could say it quickest, because there was no trigger. The trigger was your mouth. <laughs> then you have that argument. I got you first. No, you didn't. Yes, I did! Okay, do over. Do over! Nowadays, these kids have paintballs. That shit hurts. There's no do over with a paintball. You're just walking. Da da da. Ow! I got you first. Yeah, no shit. That's why I have a cerebral hematoma over here. You go to Main Medical Center, what happened? He got me bad. Why is your hair all pink? Because he got me bad. That's what we did in Maine anyway. What's your name, honey? You're from Tampa. What's your name, dear? Susan, that's pretty good. You could live up here with a name like that. Susie Q, that's what we'd call her, right? If she lived up here. Susie Q, how you doing, dear? Right? That's a good main name. What's your name, buddy? You from here? Davey, Dave, Dave, Big Dave, D Dogger, Big Dave. How about you, buddy? What's your name? Howie! Howard! Fucking Howie! How dog! How do? How about you, buddy? What's your name? Dale! That's kind of boy. New Hampshire or some shit? I don't know. How about you? What's your name, buddy? Alan. Alan. Oh, that's fucked up. That's not, that's not gonna pass. Al would work. Fucking alley cat. But Alan's a little proper. That, you never hear anyone down at Kennedy Park open up the screen door. <laughs> Molly, Shannon, Alan. Come in for dinner, darlings. It's prepared. <laughs> They're in the projects. Now. It's more like this. The screen door would fly open. Maybe a titty rolls out. A slipper comes tumbling after. Now you little bastards, get in here! These ramen noodles is drying up wicked hot. Chucky, don't give me no lip, I'll knock you in the next Sunday. You understand? 